Hello, Wonder Year. In my last video, I did my Funk Mount Rushmore, and since then, I kind of wanted to dip into reviewing individual books in some form, mostly practice speaking on my own, you know. And I found that throughout fairly well, considering it for a time I've done that in a little while. And I figured why not do whatever soon after, uh, test the one, you know. Yeah, I'm going to be doing individual book or episode or calling for a good bump for PS3 or any of that, I think, whatever. But the review is going to be pretty good book related and I plan to review you, whatever. You know, yeah, so we, we have a tough time reviewing it, I've already done my blog. But I figured it would be fun to have a video version of it, especially without foyer. We will be spoiler free. Um, we will be like 20 commodity of all, I don't think it matters too much, but I won't give anything major away. I'll probably give away kind of thing but not the very ending or the very twist but you know you know I don't know which I'm going to do but just some random one here and there you know yeah but anyway we'll see for the future but first up I have the guide to review the haunted fool at my first book review part of this anyway my dumb thumb to make the time go away this would be an honorable mention by Mount, by Mount Rushmore and I figured why not give it a own video? I plus got to figure out what one lately because because um, in my Discord server we do book club meeting for group book country and the local one we had for this week we do every other country and this was the one that got voted on so I talked about one a lot <laughs> this week so figured why not go group book number fifty nine behind a goal go the book okay for a plot. The country you got a protagonist, Tommy Fraser, and he moved to a new school, he got a new house, a new mom, you know, and he'd go, he had a hard time trying to fit in, and he figured that he got up for the school dance committee, so he could be able to meet new people pretty easily. He could call fairly well, and he had a joke to a friend named Ben Jack, and, and a girl named Falia Hal Halbert Rhoda Falia, who, a girl who had a lot of makeup, and a very nice person. She thought you got her. She wear a lot of makeup. She get fun, but oh, for for it, will really get out pretty well. Uh, one day he's looking for some paint for to do for for poster or something, and then he ended up finding out that through some statue that 50 years ago a whole class at Belvoir High Middle School vanished without trace, and the statue put in her honor. And then soon after he start hearing odd voices, you know, going, help me, and that no one else can hear. And then the night of the school dance, they discover an elevator that takes them to a strange world that is all just gay where they get a strange world that is all gray. And then once they get there, and they find out that it might be connected to Mick and Clack from 1947, and they must figure a way out of it. And that's basically all I'm gonna, well, I'll take a lot of things, but that's all I'm gonna. Okay, turn over recap portion. Now, y'all know I do like one a lot, considering it in my much more. And yeah, this is a great pop book, especially for this in the community. Because uh, the formula got pretty noticeable and tired at this point. His quality was definitely over the place. Mostly kind of mid. Um, but then we got to the 50, it feels like our thing got very experimental and tried different things. We didn't all work, but towards the end, he especially really. Started going in, and this was one of them. Uh, this one took out very really interesting from the beginning. Um, right off the bat, it took out a charm to it. It's not like super humor, but definitely a musing moment. Like, right? Ben and a prank to a character, who the joke to a character, but he makes jokes, but some which are funny. Like, he, the only characters are our character, right? people who know if I'm funny. They make jokes, no one laughs. Not funny, didn't laugh. But here he had a few bits that they meant are kind of funny. Or, you know, from the door, I got them. He had like one prank back in the wing, and the other one, he doesn't got to do a lot. I won't say he does anything on his own. He got packaged the old Tommy, you know, he doesn't got to do a big thing. And I kind of wish he would have but I feel like he's not intuitive, he doesn't got to do anything. He doesn't do fake out. The book had fake out. It's actually fairly heavy with him, but most of them were kind of harmless. Had jump scare, no prank. Ah, only a few pranks. And I've got to think of a little annoying, and that one complaint I do have, not a lot, but like a few moments, you know. But, uh, alright, very good, decent bit of humor here, I do enjoy. And I do like the mainframe group fairly well. 
found him kind of standard of tank, it's pretty likable. He had like a few interesting bits to him here and there. And he's proactive, which helps. And then, yeah. So he like just got enough to him to not make a toy boring, even if he's not super dynamic. He's about good he needs to be for the story, which is very plot driven. Sort of. It's an interesting book in that it's the pinking odd. Not a lot happened, but it does feel like a lot happened because of what does happen. Well, it's like very, like spent a lot, it spent most of the time at the school, all the time actually. We don't go home, we never meet the parents. You know, it's hinted that it's shown, it's told to us, that he had got a rocky relationship with, with the stepmother, but we don't get too many details. I actually assumed maybe she might be tied into the whole plot, but no. That would be interesting for a fan or something. The book went with a lot of fan fiction idea because of the concept. Um, and, uh, I thought, sorry, I get, I get my train of thought sometimes. Mm. Book, okay, okay. About the pink thing, yeah. It's a book that you don't get to grade old for like 30, 50 pages, but I can't ever feel like it's staying. It keeps an intrigue and a tension. You hear me voice and, and get me little events that establish plot points that are relevant later. Like, for example, the other girl named Greta, who's the big tough girl, who defined a good, like, a limb record or something. And, um, she, like, sort of like a you know, clue, like, is she tied to what is going on? And the payoff there, pretty good. I think clever the way they use her character. You know, without giving it away, they use her in an interesting way, and I do think they need a clue to establish certain elements that pay off later. So, so if you only get like board account moment or kind of fake out, I'm not that bad, but like, I'm only a bit like that. You know, we could have gone to Grand World earlier, but I don't really mind that. And when we get there, the concept is really interesting. Like, it's just the world gray, but we do find out how it kind of was born, like, the idea, you know, what happened to Clock Cut to Forty Cabin and, you know, how, you know, the world affects people. And I feel like it gets pretty bad and tragic without getting, like, not that super dark, really, really, but it's just creeping away without getting into, like, edge war kind of stuff. And I feel like I think that would have worked, but I do like that more melancholy to it than when, when you... It got caught up with being quacked vanished, and it got a situation, and you get the kind of, like, you know, bad feeling kind of early on, and I feel like that paid off really well when you find out what's going on. And I do feel it's good, like, atmosphere and imagery. Um, they never got any adaptation to count kind of good about Horror Town, the mobile game, which did do a that very well, and I think it showed how much potential there is in a visual medium. You know, it's kind of a shame we haven't had one yet. I feel like, especially in a comic form, like a full color comic I can take full advantage of, there's so many interesting visual things you could do. And there's a lot of imaging with book Connor up already, and I feel like, in a bit fan art, that looks really interesting. So, a very provocative book, like the whole concept of Give you into your mind and like we fear you can now not everything make a lot again from the big other problem you can have, you have is that there are a few get plot holes and things that don't make sense. We find out how it appeared, you do have to wonder how the whole like didn't put two two together into how they vanished necessarily. And there's some things I can like glide because it's a kid book and it's a Carl Stein he's not that in a bit of a war. But there's a few things that could have patched up logically. So, there's that and a few world count moments that are the main thing flying back a little bit, but I do think the high numbers are too high because I do like <laughs> tragedy. And we do find in a certain way of the character tying the kind of thing like Ray Falia, kind of, you know, the way she integrated. The, her role in the story is really good. And we do get a bit of a clean ending, you know. And we, I feel like it, I mean, look at you know, emotional, the book works well emotionally, logically shaky, but I do think the story is actually fairly well written. And I do feel like the emotion make up for any logic form I'm gonna have. And I do feel like, you know, and, you got, and I cover it well. The way it shows the great stuff is really cool. I like that, and like a curly cameo right there. Matt got, former Matt got curly. And I do find that pretty neat. Good cover. 
and they go great normally I feel like the emotions do work really well a good cap and payoff in a pretty clever way like where you come a lighter and the how how a dual purpose it's not just an object that appeared in the beginning but like you later it also can you to establish from the rule from the world and I feel like that from smart writing to have get up and pay off in a way that you get you you cheap like oh that could appear later no it's a part of the plot so like uh, it took me little detail to show that you know it's fucking perfect and well thought through more so in like your average like kid book I feel like which would you know no, yeah, I think a lecker book which does not care that much about current detail, but current detail are important. And I do feel like that can really help make up for any problem you can have with like the plot. Um, the twist ending, you kind of cheap, it almost kind of like I have to like a good happy ending, but you can't have that in a good book. But I do like it, it is so cruel, and I do feel the kind of got an interesting idea and the feeling. The actual main of villain. Well, of course, the villain who will find everything we don't tell we get to meet in a horror town we do, and I feel like very conscious of really interesting, and I do like figuring out what that character might be like. But the actual antagonist are a group of people who are involved in probably one of the most messed up things in all of the hearing. It's not that super dark, but it's so weird and sad, and that the they definitely can't show like the mental anguish a certain kind of situation can have on someone the effect it can have and I feel like that's pretty interesting. You know, a whole bunch of kids in Grey World, some of them have been affected, some of them have not as much, and I feel like that's a really interesting way to go about the story. And it's just the world of Grey, it doesn't sound like very limiting, but I don't think they do a good job of taking the simple idea and fleshing it out. And it's creative, okay, some more other things, but it's got a creativity to it, and it feels like a very unique story that you can maybe only get from Goosebump to it then like it feels unique it feels uniquely Goosebump in a different sort of way so it's not entirely a riff on Kamal poor movie you know kind of wearing and it's not entirely a rehash of it's not an obvious idea but it's the one that still fit so I do think this is a strong book that yeah it has plot holes for sure and, but I do feel like it is so effective and charming that I don't think any point on bored or annoying for the book, which is more I can pay for an evil come out of I'm like high on. You know, so I do feel like it is definitely recommended. Like at the time it went underrated because it was so late, but now it's a big favorite. It's not like one that, if one get brought up a lot into a favorite, especially in the community, but because with no episode and because more towns went like a on, you know, it's gonna go under radar to get comparison to one that got heavily merchandised and even like even some like where else can I think it brought more because I had an episode and because of Bobby Cook of Freddy. <laughs> it's not even like a it's, it's for truth. We're trying to get track and I think that's cool. Go. So, um for me I'm not gonna give him a rating to to make the review more important. But um, on my scale it is great. Um, I have a few different things. I have like bad, meh, average, decent, good, and then great. They're not called very good, which is like in between. But for Kick of Eagles, okay. Very good and great. I kind of can't like, great, but I can't entertain them depending on the mood. But then, it can come in my top three for the whole for thing, actually. It is kind of cool, what can can't wear, and this. Maybe. I don't know if I want to do a full video for World War II because I talked about it in the Mount Rushmore video and I talked about it a lot, but who you knows, maybe. Again, I'm just going to be random, I don't know. Maybe next will be Dr. Maniac, I don't know. It won't be, no way. Maybe someday, but but not today. But either way, figure the book to the few, like, you know, about 15 minutes worth of work about it. And so, why it worked so well. And it, I feel like I'm not really telling it because I'm not like I'm trying to be formal, but the big one I really enjoy. I really it's, it's one that activates the imagination, and it's not something a lot of these do. You know, you know, yeah, but I come do, and I do like when a pick fiction at all can get me to imagine and think up my ideas or fearing, and you know, especially with the character of Fallia and where she goes, I just imagine like idea of where a character well before we meet her and what she could do in the future 
，应该我嘅，你不，佢反而佢要反人哋 in a way that don't pick you up more in a good way， 嗱，嗱，个 kind of a good book or any good fiction if it just pick you up more in a good way， you know maybe a few for thing I'll you know there， go。Then a really good stretch of book coming in, and again, the bad, bad, bad stretch. Although Avery Beekman will work a video, I really enjoy that one. But overall, it's a great book, and I feel like if you miss down on it, because you're going to get in, take full community word for it, it's great.、Um, it would have been another not much more if maybe I'm doing doing my top one four, but become kind of one variety. There you go. Yeah, think about it. If there were an episode, I would have maybe touched on it. If there is an episode, I'll probably just put them together. I'm not sure if I'm going to be too different. Yeah, but ah,、uh, so we could just to try one to see how a standalone review works. Um, I just want to show how a standard review could potentially work. Yeah, who you knows? How frequent it will be? I want to. Practically speaking, a little more. Um, maybe during the weekend I'll try the、uh, two. Yeah, another random one. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, you know, for the that that the future. Hope you enjoyed this, and uh, yeah, I'll just wrap up. Goodbye.